If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this brief demonstration, we're going to take a look at assigning a WLAN to a VLAN in SmartZone. So here we are logged into SmartZone. Uh, what we're wanting to accomplish is we're wanting to set up a guest WLAN and we're going to want to isolate that guest WLAN to VLAN 20. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go and spin up this WLAN. So we're going to go over to Network, Wireless LANs. Uh, we're going to choose where to put this WLAN. I'm going to put it under Team Zone 2. So I'm going to create it right under Team XX Zone 2. And I'm just going to name it Guest Access. It's going to be a standard WLAN. We can do WPA2. We can set the passphrase. And then uh, what I want to do is to, to put it in the VLAN that I'm uh, intending, I need to go down to the advanced options. So underneath the advanced options, we have the uh, ability to specify the VLAN ID here. So I said I wanted to choose VLAN 20. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and that's all I need to configure for this particular WLAN right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let that um, submit and propagate out to the AP. Now, uh, let's go take a look at the AP configuration. So if I go back under uh, network access points for that zone, we've got a Ruckus R310 under, under this zone. And if I look at the uh, port profile that we're using for this, let me scroll down to the model specific options. And I'm not going to change anything. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not going to change anything here. I just want to take a look at uh, what the configuration currently is. So we can see that this is a default uh, trunk port, a, a default WAN trunk port. So what that means is it is untagging on VLAN one, but it is allowing any uh, other VLAN um, that's available, any VLAN one through 4094. So that's that's fine for for what I'm doing here if you wanted to restrict if you wanted to restrict that um, to specific VLANs or you wanted to make it untagged only you have to change the Ethernet port, port profile type so um, I think by now the AP probably has the WLAN on it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pause a second and I'm gonna connect a device up to that um, that uh, WLAN and we're going to take a look at some of the things that we can see once we've done that. All right, I've connected a client to this WLAN. Let me go ahead and refresh and see if I can see it appear. And it looks like it does. It's not showing a whole lot of information for it just yet. So I'll refresh the page here and we should see the model. We should then be able to like highlight the uh, client and see uh, specifically uh, what VLAN it's on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's not showing me what it is. I know it's a phone. So uh, selecting the client, we can then see that it is showing up under VLAN 20. Um, another thing that we're able to do is grab the MAC address of the client. So this is kind of interesting. So I'm going to copy this MAC address. Um, I also happen to have a switch that is managed by SmartZone as well. So my switch is managed by SmartZone and my uh, AP is, is obviously managed by SmartZone. So what I can do is I can actually go over to the switches view and I can look at this particular switch and kind of do a client trace on it. So I've selected the switch, I've selected troubleshooting. I'm going to go ahead and paste that client Mac in here and then click start. What this is going to tell me is the connectivity for this particular client very specifically. So we can see that this particular client is connected to our R310 access point and that access point is connected to our 7150C12 switch on Ethernet port 111. So that, that's kind of cool. What we can then do is we can go into that 7150 switch and we can get some information about that port 111 to see what it's doing from a tagged or untagged perspective. So if I click on that switch and choose ports, we can get a uh, ports view. So there's a few things we can do here. We can, we can hover over uh, port one here and we can see that it is untagged on VLAN one. 
uh, let me bring that back up, and then tagged on VLAN 20, we can also see uh, from the port details list that it has VLANs 1 and 20, and if you hover over 1, it's going to tell you that's the untagged VLAN, while 20 is the tagged VLAN. So in, a, in an environment where you have several switches, several APs, and you just want to figure out you know, where this client's connecting, that tool is a really good uh, way for you to figure out you know, exactly which port they're coming in on. So if you need to track down and figure out how things are being tagged or untagged, you can certainly use that tool to help you out. So um, a pretty easy process overall to get a VLAN assigned to a WLAN. Um, there's multiple ways that you can assign users. That This is just the one, the, one of the ways that you can do it. So hopefully, we, hopefully uh, you found this helpful and it's something you can utilize in your environment. And, and we look forward to uh, showing you guys additional video content in the future. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.